Hey everybody, this is Rust from Retro Game Core. I have another Nintendo 3DS video for you here today. A bunch of these have been popping up over the internet over the past couple weeks, and for good reason. Nintendo recently closed down their eShop, and so a lot of people are just kind of worried about how to actually play their games. Now, last week I did a video showing how to mod a 3DS. Now, you should always use a written guide for that, but I did make a video companion to just kind of help you walk through those steps. But really, starting with this video, we're gonna do the exciting stuff. In this one here, we're gonna focus on playing 3DS games on your modded 3DS. And really, there are four different things I want to show in this video. Number one is how to take one of your cartridges and then install it directly onto the SD card on your 3DS. That means you'll be able to load up your entire library right here without putting additional wear and tear on your carts, and you won't have to swap them out when you want to change out a game too. Now for step two, I'm going to show you how to take the game from your cart as well and then convert it to a 3DS or CIA file. That means you'll be able to use it with external emulators like Citra without having to use a 3DS at all. And so that'll be really easy if you want to play your games on something else like the Steam Deck. Now for number three, I'm gonna assume that you already have a ROM file, for example, a 3DS or a CIA file, but you wanna actually put it onto your 3DS. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next step. And finally, I'm gonna show you an alternative to the Nintendo eShop. This will give you the ability to re-download your previous digital purchases, but then also it'll give you access to other games that are just no longer in existence because the eShop is closed. So the way I see it, I think those four steps will kind of cover you for anything when it comes to playing 3DS games on your 3DS and beyond. And so without any further delay, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, first step here is we're gonna take a Nintendo 3DS cartridge and then install it directly onto the console. For this example, we're gonna use New Super Mario Bros. 2. And as a quick reminder here, you need to have a modded 3DS, so if you haven't done that already, you need to do that first. Anyway, go ahead and put the cartridge into your device, and then hold on to the start button while pressing the power on. This is gonna take you into God Mode 9, which is essentially a file browser for a modded 3DS. On the top panel here, we wanna navigate down to the section that says Game Cart. Go ahead and press A right here, and this will take you to a list of files. We want the one that's named Trim 3DS. So go ahead and hover over that one and then press the A button again. This should show you the name of the game and then also on the bottom screen, a bunch of different options. And to install it on the 3DS, we wanna go into NCSD Image Options. And then within here, scroll about halfway down and you'll find Install Game Image. When you press A, it's gonna say that writing to the internal storage is locked and to unlock it, you press A again. From there, it's gonna give you a sequence of controller directions to enter. And that'll be different every time. So just go ahead and follow the prompts right here and then press A. And after that, it'll start the process of installing this image to the internal storage. And it's probably gonna take about five minutes altogether. So go ahead and grab a drink and then come back. And once it's done, it's gonna say install success. Go ahead and press A to continue. And then it'll ask whether or not you want to relock the right permissions. I would recommend yes. After that, you're gonna be back in the main God Mode 9 menu. All you have to do now is just press the start button to reboot the console into the regular 3DS menu. And once you're there, it's gonna say that new software has been added. Here you can press okay, and then you'll have a shiny new package. Let's go ahead and unwrap it. And surprise, surprise, it is new Super Mario Brothers 2. And just to confirm that it works, I'm gonna take out the cartridge here and then boot up the game. And yeah, look at that. We're playing new Super Mario Brothers 2 on the 3DS from the SD card. And you know, this game didn't get great reviews when it first came out, but I would highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite 2D Mario games altogether. Anyway, there you are. That's how you would take one of these cartridges and put it onto your 3DS. Just make sure you set a little bit of time aside to do that because it will take about five minutes per game. Now we're gonna move on to step two. This is where we're gonna take one of these cartridges and actually turn it into a ROM file. And for this example here, we're gonna use Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Again, go ahead and put the cartridge into your 3DS, and then we're gonna hold down to the start button and then power it up. And a lot of this is gonna be very similar. So here in the God Mode 9 menu, we'll go down to the Game Cart section, and press A. And then also we're gonna pick the Trim 3DS file, and then we're gonna press A. Now in this menu, things are gonna be a little bit different. If you wanna create a 3DS file, which is what we're gonna do, you wanna go down to the bottom right here and select the copy to 0gm9 slash out. And we'll do that in a second, but then also there is one other thing you can do. If you go into NCSD image options, you can scroll down and there's an option to build CIA from file. And so if you'd rather have a CIA file instead of a 3DS file, you could do it this way instead. For me personally, I prefer to work with 3DS files, so we're gonna do that one. And this one will also take a little bit of time, I would say about five minutes as well. 
But once it's done, you get a confirmation like this. You can press A to continue. And then we want to turn off the 3DS. To do that in this menu, we're going to hold on to the R button and then press start. That'll power down the 3DS and we can remove the SD card and now put it into our computer. And here are the contents of my 3DS SD card. And within here, we're looking for this folder here that is labeled GM9. And then within that, there's a subfolder named out. And when you open that one up, you will see that we have a trim 3DS file right here. And this is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. However, if we open up Citra, which is the 3DS emulator, and then try to drag and drop this game inside, you're actually going to get an error. It's going to say that the ROM is encrypted. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, Russ is a big fat liar because he told me he could play games from a ROM. Well, I would say hold your horses because there's an app for that. And I'll have this linked in my written guide, but it's called the Bat CIA 3DS Decryptor. All you have to do is just go to this main page here and then click on the download link right here. And that'll download a small zip file, about five megabytes altogether. Now we need to extract this zip file in order to access the contents. And for this, I'm gonna use 7-Zip. So I'm gonna right click on it here, go into the 7-Zip menu, and then select extract here. Anyway, once you have these five files, you can delete the zip file. And now all we have to do is just add our 3DS games to the same folder. I'm just gonna add this one game right here, but you could add many games to this folder and then batch convert them all at once. Either way, once you've copied over your game into this folder, we're ready to go. All you have to do is just double click on this batch file right here. It's going to say decrypting and it'll take a few moments, but after that it'll say finished, press any key to exit. So go ahead and find the any key on your keyboard and press that. And now within that folder we have two different 3DS files and one is labeled decrypted. That's the one we want to keep. So I'll delete the encrypted one here and I'm also going to rename this to the proper name of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Additionally, you can also remove the 3DS file from your SD card if you'd like as well. Now let's try to run this through an emulator again. And just like that, it's popping right up. And so, yes, it does work, you just have to decrypt it. Who's the big fat liar now? And this is great, you now have a ROM file of your cartridge that you can play on any other 3DS emulator. But let's say that you already have a 3DS ROM library and you want to install those on your 3DS. Let me show you how to do that next. And this section we're calling ROM to console. If we go back to the SD card for my 3DS, I have a ROMs folder right here. And within that, I've made a folder named 3DS. And as you can see right here, I've preloaded it with a bunch of different ROM files that I already had. And this is a collection I've been building up for several years at this point. But one of the games I did not have was Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. So let's go ahead and move that one over here onto the SD card. So once we have this moved over, I've got a bunch of different 3DS ROMs right here. It doesn't matter what folder you put them in, you just need to have them on your SD card to be able to access from your 3DS. So let's go ahead and eject our micro SD card and then put it inside of our 3DS and then boot it up. And as you probably guessed, we are going to use God Mode 9 once again. So we're going to hold on to the start button and then press power. This time we're going to go into that very top directory called SD card. And once you press A, you will see that it'll be the entire listing of your SD card like we saw earlier on the computer. So here I'm going to go down to the ROMs folder and then I'm going to go into the 3DS folder and bam, just like that, we have all of our 3DS files. I think it's appropriate to use Luigi's Dark Moon as our example here. So let's go ahead and press A on this one. And then within the menu on the bottom screen here, we're going to go into NCSD image options and then select install game file. It'll give you that same warning about writing to the internal storage, just press A and then follow the prompts right here. Once that's done, it's going to start the image writing process. And again, this will take about five minutes altogether. Once that's done, you can press A. It'll say the whole write permissions thing again, press A again, and then we will press start to reboot the device and be back in the main menu. As expected, we will see some shiny new software right here. And as we unwrap the package, you can see that it's going to be Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And of course, let's go ahead and boot it up to make sure that it works. And sure enough, yeah, here we are, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is running just great. Now, let's say you don't have 3DS files, but you have CIA files instead. The installation process for those are a little bit different. For this, we're going to use the app called FBI, which you should have installed already if you went through the jailbreaking process. Anyway, after you open up the FBI app, you're going to want to pick the first one right here called SD. And again, here we're going to see the layout of the file system on our SD card. Now, my CIA file will be under the Godmo 9 folder right here and then the output folder. And that's because I created a CIA file from my Mario Kart 7 cartridge. Anyway, what you want to do here is tap on the game file and then you have two options. You can just install the CIA like this or if you don't have plans on using that CIA file on your SD card afterwards, you can select install and delete CIA instead. Anyway, after you do the confirmation here, as you guessed, it's probably going to take about five minutes to install it onto your machine. 
But once you're done, it'll say install finished and then press OK. From there, go ahead and press the B button to get back to the main FBI menu, and then you can press start to exit. And as you probably guessed, we're going to get a notification here that we have some new presents to unwrap. And surprise, surprise, it is Mario Kart 7. Now, on some of these games, when you first try to open them up, it may prompt you to update the software. And right now, most of these games will still connect to the eShop and update themselves. However, I have heard that there are some games that aren't properly working when it comes to updating. But there is a workaround for that, which is going to be part of our fourth step here in a second. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and double check that Mario Kart 7 is working here from the CIA file. And yes, just like that, it's working great. Okay, before we get started with step number four, I want to talk a little bit about using the 3DS in the current environment we're in now that the eShop is closed. For this step, we're going to be using something called the H-Shop, and this essentially is an app you can put on your 3DS, which will then give you access to the entire 3DS catalog to download digitally. And as you can imagine, that could lead the way to abuse and piracy and the fact that you would download something that you haven't previously purchased. And honestly, that's the main reason why I never did any 3DS videos before Nintendo closed down their eShop. It just didn't seem right. This is the same reason why I don't mention a specific app when it comes to the PS Vita either. However, now that the eShop is closed, there's no other way to access some of these games. Yes, you can buy cartridges still and then dump them like we showed in the previous steps, but many games were digital only back in the day. And so for this step here, I'm only going to show off the digital games that I have bought previously. If you remember from my hack guide that I released last week, I actually showed off some of the games that I had purchased like Super Mario Maker. And so that's the example that I'm going to give here. Now, what you do with this information is really going to be up to you. In fact, I think there's a really great video made by Bob Wolf over at the Wolf Den that really kind of talks about the the conundrum of having the eShop closed, but then also having purchased a device that you can no longer buy games for. So I'll leave a link to his video down below. He says it a lot more eloquently than I could. At the end of the day, I just want to show you this resource and you can kind of go from there. Okay, and so for step four, we're going to do what I'm calling the digital storefront. Now, I'm not comfortable giving a direct link to the H store. Instead, I'm just going to say you're going to have to find it on your own. But once you get to the H store, you will see a QR code. You can either use your phone or computer. Either way, just make sure it's visible. From there, open up the FBI app, and then near the bottom in the main menu, you will see remote install. Tap on that, and then in the next menu, you will see scan QR code. Tap on that one as well. Then, using the camera from your 3DS, go ahead and hover over that QR code. It'll pick it up, and then it'll ask you to install from this scanned code. Go ahead and tap on yes, and then it'll take a few seconds and it'll be installed. Once it says install finished, go ahead and press OK, and then press B to back out to the main FBI menu. From there, you can press start to exit out of the app. As expected, you'll get a notification that we have new software, and then when you click on it, you will now have access to the H shop. So let's go ahead and open it right up. And as you can see here, there's a variety of options to choose from. And remember, we're looking for Super Mario Maker. So I'm going to go into the game section, and then I'm going to find my region, which is going to be North America. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down to find Super Mario Maker. To speed up this process, you can press the right button on the D-pad, which will page down instead of going down one by one. Either way, once you find it, go ahead and press the A button here. And then you want to press the A button again to start the download. Now this process can take quite a long time. I would say on average it's going to be about 10-15 minutes per game. So honestly, if you already have access to the ROMs, I would recommend just installing them from the ROMs via your SD card as opposed to trying to do it over the net. Either way, once you're done with the installation, you might get a prompt like this that says that there is a missing title that you need to check the queue to install it. And what this is referring to is that there may be some updates to your games that haven't been installed yet. So if we tap on the Q button right here, you can see up top there are four different games that have updates that are available. And it's not just the games that I installed from the H store, it's all the games on my 3DS. And so this is what I was talking about. If you have any issues with the eShop update, you can actually just update your games via the H shop instead. And so here I've selected Install All. So it's going to update not only Super Mario Maker, but New Super Mario Bros. 2, and then also some Street Pass Me Plaza stuff that I don't really care about. Either way, once it's done, we're good to go. You can press the start button to exit out of the H shop. And of course, you're going to get a prompt that new software has been installed. And this, of course, will be Super Mario Maker. And just to confirm, yeah, it boots right up. So here we are. And really, that's all there is to it when it comes to loading up 3DS games on your 3DS console. So no matter your situation, maybe you have a bunch of cartridges or maybe a bunch of ROM files, you can get them all loaded up onto the 3DS. 
But one word of caution here, I would not recommend going nuts with installing like a million games onto your console. For example, there's a limitation of 300 apps on your home screen altogether. And we haven't even gotten to my other videos, which are going to be things like loading up Nintendo DS games, and then of course how to play retro games as well. So be on the lookout for those 3DS videos in the coming weeks here on this channel. And of course, if you have any other special requests, let me know. I'm just learning about the 3DS myself, and so this has been a lot of fun. For example, the other day I purchased a new Nintendo 3DS from Japan. And when that arrives, I'm going to also mod it, but then also figure out how I can make it region free. And I'm thinking about making a video on that as well, in case you are interested in picking up a Japanese 3DS. You can usually find those devices for cheaper on the internet, but then also they're kept in really good condition. So if you have any other requests like that, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful, and we will see you next time. Happy gaming.